entertaining teams 3D, which one of them values home court advantage more? Because that's what's on the line come mid-April. Values or needs it more? Needs it more. Golden it, State or Houston? Hands down, the Houston Rockets need it more because they haven't been there before. They don't understand what it means to take your home court advantage all the way to the finals. So now, with that being said, we know Golden State, they've been there before. They understand what it takes. So my question to Dan Tony, as you look at these highlights, is can your style, can the ball movement, can the, I'm going to call it take turn basketball. Because James Harden takes turns to run the show. Then Chris Paul grabs the ball. He runs the show. I give them both credit. They both share, and they both get everyone involved. But when the playoffs start, guys, and things slow down a little bit, can you still play the defense that you've shown us? I think that's the biggest thing I've been impressed with all season long. They stay top ten in defense. Can you do that in the playoffs come along with the offense? Then maybe, I say maybe, we start saying we take them serious and they can dethrone the Warriors. Now, we know what the Warriors bring to the table, right? They finished each of the last three seasons with the top seed in mm -hmm. the playoffs. What would they need to do to make it four years in a row from here on out? Well, I think their formula speaks the best. Continue to share the basketball. They always are top of the, the heat far as sharing as a team with the assist standpoint. Defensively, they've slipped a little bit, and they've had some bad games here before the break. But I think at the end of the day, they're a little tired mentally and physically. They're still trying to get the swaggy peas, the Omar Caspies of the world. They're supporting cats because... That's the little small chink in the armor, Chris, and for the people at home, it's the supporting cast, the guys off the bench. Ken, those guys, the Livingston, we know Iguodala, we know in the playoffs, he will show up. He hasn't had one of those Iguodala-type years. So I still believe the bench will get that second win and step up and meet those starters. Check out some of these losses by Golden State. 30 points to the Jazz, 20 points to the Thunder. That's after losing the mm -hmm. season series to the Rockets on January 20th. They seem a bit lethargic mm -hmm. right before the All-Star break. Can they turn that around? Are you concerned with that with them? No, a little concerned because you never want to take an NBA team for granted, but at the end of the day, I think they can hit that switch and find that groove defensively. Like I said, there was a little slippage. You get a little mental fatigue, but you understand that you do have a great leader in Steve Kerr, and he will find a way to press that button. I don't know if it's playing more music in practice to loosen you up more or if it's giving them a piece of his mind to get them refocused. But the ball moving, I say it again, defensively helping the helper, I think all that stuff will come back as we get close to the playoffs. Warriors, Rockets, they're ahead of the pack. Any other teams in the Western Conference stand out to you as someone that could contend and also make the finals? I think it's OK3. I think they can figure it out a little bit. I know a lot of Spurs fans are out there, but until you figure out the Kawhi Leonard thing, I'm taking you guys out of the mix because there's no way you can contend with those top teams not having your MVP type guy in Kawhi Leonard. So OK3, after the break, can they continue to get back? They were playing better ball offensively, had a little slippage defensive where they were actually the other way around at the beginning of the season. Now can they re-flip it, so to speak? I think they can because having three superstars, I think they want to play well together. And all you fans think big picture, I think they have to to keep Paul George and Melo happy for the bigger, bigger picture. I mean, those standings are crazy in the Western Conference. Only four and a half games separates the third team crazy. from the 10th team. So really, any slippage could have you out of the playoffs. And here's the key to that, Chris, and your people at home. We know what the top 24 guys were doing and some of the guys being around All-Star Weekend. But which guys, supporting cast, were they working on their game? Yes, you take a day or two off the rest of your body, but you have to get back in the gym. Because those teams who took it serious, you'll see that the first three to four to five games, how fast they go for the rest of the season. Over All-Star Weekend, there was also some developments with Kawhi Leonard. Enlighten us a little bit on what happened with him in the Spurs organization. Well, reports say that, that Kawhi and, and the Spurs are now on the same page. There's a possibility he could shut it down for the rest of the year, and that's what I'm saying. Until they figure that out, whatever the reports are, yay or nay, you've never seen something like this before from a superstar like Kawhi. We saw with Le LaMarcus Aldridge, he supposedly wanted out. He and Pop worked it out, and now he's playing one of his best, ba I should say, some of his best basketball being in San Antonio. A you team. would think, you would think Pop would figure this out. And deep down inside, I want to say yes. But until I see it, it's hard to put the Spurs in the mix not having Kawhi Leonard. Right not now. having your most yeah. talented player. It's yeah. hard to see that. Okay, the Minnesota Timberwolves are also a team that they seem to be figuring some things out as the season progresses. 
do you see them being able to make a push in the playoffs? Do they have enough? Particularly that bench. And when yeah. those guys on the bench get an opportunity, I guess is the question. I, I think that's the key word, opportunity, and Coach Tibbs trying to find a good flow because we know he's defensive-minded. You're bringing a guy like Jamal Crawford, who we all love, and I think he's having a solid year from off the bench. Wiggins, you see that big highlight? He's been up and down all season. We know who the All-Stars are, and Jimmy Butler and Cat, deservingly so. But somehow, the, the Gorgie Jangs of the world, that, you know, guys like that, to make your bench a little deeper defensively and offensively, and then maybe you can say this team can go deeper. As of right now, I'm still a little hesitant to give it to him. And Jeff Teague, I got to give him a little credit. He's had a solid year for them as well.